Hello, all. Uh, a, a viewer asked if I could do uh, installation of Windows 7 in VirtualBox, uh, specifically inside Arch Linux. Um, so I'm using Arch Linux, and it's the XFCE4 desktop, which I modified. So to get uh, an ISO image, you can still download them uh, from Digital River Microsoft. And this person here, Andre, thank you. And me too, I found this helpful. <laughs> And I'm going to use a Windows 7 64-bit, and that's from Microsoft Digital River. All right, so I'm downloading that right now. And if I click on the uh, information, download information, you can see that here's the address here. Okay, so everything's on the level. And it's 3.09 gigs for the 64-bit professional edition. So I'll have to wait a while for that to download. In the meantime, make sure you have VirtualBox installed, of course, uh, from the official uh, Arch Linux repositories via Pac-Man. And uh, after it's uh, downloaded and installed, just uh, open a terminal and do a sudo mod probe. Uh, probe dash and a space dash a and then vbox drv. And if it doesn't come back, uh, that means it's fine. And then uh, you have to do uh, sudo nano, nano, uh, Etsy modules, modules load, uh, dash load dot d slash virtualbox dot c o n f. And that's, and all you have to do is uh, type that in vbox drv, and then you save and exit. So I already have that in there, of course. So I'm just going to exit out of here. And then uh, add yourself to the VBox users group. So it's uh, sudo uh, gpasswd uh, dash add or dash a. And then instead of, you can type your username or just a percent user. I mean dollar sign user. And then uh, VBox users. And it says adding username, your username, whatever it is, to the VBox users. Okay. And once that's uh, once this is download downloaded, uh, I'll continue installing uh, Windows 7 in VirtualBox on Arch Linux. So next, uh, let's move on. We'll uh, fire up uh, VirtualBox, and uh, we'll create a new virtual machine. Click new, of course. Uh, you can either uh, type in Win 7 or just uh, select the drop down list for the version. Like I said, I'm using Windows 7 64 bit and then type in whatever you want to call it. <coughs> Win 7 is good enough. Uh, memory, uh, quite a bit more we're going to need. So I'm going to allocate uh, approximately 4 gigabytes of memory. So uh, round it up to 4096. And next, uh, create the drive now. Next, next, and let's give that 40 gigabytes, and I'm going to choose a different uh, path for that I, on another hard drive. That's good enough, so 40 gigs, and create. And we'll go to settings, uh, system, untick, untick, floppy, uh, I have six scores, I'm going to give it six scores. Display, enable 3D, and this will enable you to allow you to have 256 memory as well. And the storage. We're going to browse for where I downloaded that. It's uh, in downloads. There it is there, the ISO. And we open that, and everything should be good to go. So you press start, and fingers crossed that we can uh, start. There we go. So Windows 7, or Windows, is loading. And this will take some time. Once it's loaded up, uh, click Next. And just uh, hit Install Now. And Setup is starting. So this is Windows 7 Professional Service Pack 1. Uh, accept. Hit Next. Uh, now this part, click Advanced, Custom. And it should pick up the whatever you allocated uh, 
for hard drive. In this case, I made it 40 gigabytes. Hit next. And that's all the information we need right now. Uh, your computer will restart several times during installation. So uh, I'll be back after this is uh, the next prompt to, to fill in whatever we need. I should uh, mention, mention as well, as, as this is installing, uh, before you get to this point or where you fill in your username, um, just let it, don't touch anything, just let it go. If you see, uh, press any key to boot from disk, uh, just ignore that. Just let it install, okay? So with that out of the way, just uh, type in a username. And we'll, uh, let's see, you can, let's call it uh, Linux PC. <laughs> Just for fun, uh, PC. You can call anything you wish, okay? So, next. Uh, if you wish a password, but I'm just going to not do that. Now, this part's important. Um, if you want to call Microsoft and tell them what you've done, you've downloaded an ISO and you want to purchase a product key, uh, they will happily send you one for... X amount of hundred and change and whatever dollars. I don't know what Windows 7 costs. So untick this on automatically activate Windows when I'm online and then hit skip. Uh, use recommended uh, settings and then you just uh, set up your time zone and make sure it's right. And home network is usually the best bet. This takes the most amount of time uh, in the installation. Well, uh, post install for your user settings. There we go. Uh, we're, uh, Windows 7 is installed and out of interest, uh, just hit the Windows key and pause on your keyboard. I just want to see how long they give you before you have to activate it. Oh great. Okay, so we have three days in this case until you have to activate. So obviously uh, I'm not going to be keeping this around too long. Um, so the final step in this is uh, go to Devices, Install Guest Editions. And uh, we're using VirtualBox, so you have to download it. And uh, you download it from this site. Download and uh, just give it a bit of time to download. It gives you the path as to where the ISO is. You can make note of that if you want to delete it later. Or just keep it or remove it or whatever. So we'll insert it into the... Uh, Windows, uh, the virtual machine, and autoplay uh, usually doesn't come up, so just uh, click on the or go to computer, and double click this and select uh, VBox Windows Editions and wait for the admin prompt to come up. Say yes, and we'll close this, and next, next. Now here's the, <laughs> this is a trick question. Uh, we want to, if you want to enable uh, uh, the arrow peak, the windows, whatever they call it, uh, you tick this box and you'll get this question. Would you like to install basic 3D support instead? Click no if you want the arrow. Okay. If you don't, you're going to have to reboot and go into safe mode and install experimental DirectX, I guess. I don't know. So click no. All right, <laughs> and yes, uh, we already did that. It's two uh, two fifty six, and when we did the uh, setup, and then press OK, and then install, and you might get another prompt. Yes, install a device. You can check this, and then install, continue installing, and when you're done, uh, you get a prompt to reboot, and we should be uh, pretty much finished up with. Uh, Installing Windows 7 in VirtualBox on Arch Linux. <laughs> so after the reboot prompt, um, we have uh, the guest additions installed. Now we should be able to make this larger. And it should adjust, or maybe not. I don't know. There we go. A little slow because I'm recording, I guess. I don't know. And back and forth. And uh, so there you have it. Uh, in, uh, installing a, a Windows OS uh, inside Arch Linux using VirtualBox. Okay, so I uh, hope the viewer and uh, everybody else um, found this video helpful and any comments or suggestions, uh, 
feel free to add them. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Then. And bye for now.